like what is behind me right like the wallpaper so i'm going to show you how we moved from this to all the way to this all right so you can let me, take, let me, let me just show you around it's so amazing and it can serve as a good backdrop like a, a good background for videos like you, you see most of my video i've been using this wallpaper so i'm going to show you how we transform the entire place from that an ugly look to such a beautiful look like this so just stay tuned to the end of the video most times we really want something nice for our walls and just like you can look at this wall despite the fact that paint has been applied on it it still look a bit ugly and it doesn't look a bit presentable because it's it's, it's sometimes paint doesn't fit for a wall and that's the need for wallpaper wallpaper has come to change a lot when it comes to wall design and interior design so this is it comes in different color in different style and this is the particular color and style i personally choose and first of all you have to you know choose the color you want and you can see mine here was a bit of mixture of goosey and uh, one other stylish color and before you apply the wallpaper on the wall of the building of the interior of your house the first thing that has to be, to be done like you saw on that wall there's what they call filling uh using a filler where if you go to any material paint material shop you can still get it that filler is to fit in every hose that's if the wall has a hole but if it's a perfectly plastered wall you just need to uh, apply your gum on it and then you have to wet the wallpaper most persons don't wet the wallpaper but according to uh, doing it professionally just the way this guy did it all right he has to wet the wallpaper in water all right in water before uh, and then cut it into the rice i mean the right size all right so you cut it into the right size because it comes in different sizes and uh, you know when you are trying to apply it on the wall you might mix the shape and then it looks ugly it doesn't look as fine as it should so you cut it into the into the right shape that it's supposed to be in all right so you can see the that's the filler you can see on the wall that has already been applied just to make sure that the wall is smooth and then next to it is the is the water where the wallpaper was soaked and then the next one is the gum that is going to be applied on the wall so there are so many gums that are so like so many adhesive that can be used on this all right now there are some that are mixed all right and there are some that are or that comes just like that all right so when you go to the the shop all right or the the supermarket where you you can buy your wallpaper where this wallpaper is sold you will also see the gum that you can use or the uh, adhesive that you can apply to the wall before placing your wallpaper yes, all right side, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. just yeah, like i told you most person applies it just like that but to make it look so smooth and so Thank wonderful you. now two side, it has I to mean, be put in uh, I mean, the water side, and that water will just help you get things no really uh, smooth yes, and... yeah, so let's go through the process of applying it on the wall all right so before you apply the wallpaper you just there's uh you just have to do it gently and uh, there's a tapper that is used while applying it on the wall all right you apply gently from the top to the bottom all right not from bottom to top because it's easier to apply from top to bottom <laughs> okay so you can see just let's just go through the process of applying it on the wall so you see how it goes
gun being applied on the wall before the uh, wallpaper is placed so you literally apply the gum all right the gum that you already mixed with the roller i don't know how other person might want to apply that but you apply it with the roller before you carefully place the wallpaper accordingly on the wall all right the already wet wallpaper on the wall so it's not compulsory to wet it but to achieve uh, uniformity uh, you have to wet the wallpaper and this is also dependent on the adhesive that you are using. So if you go to your local shop, all right, you might ask them uh, a, a gum for wallpaper uh, or adhesive for wallpaper, and then they'll give you the right one that they use. All right, there are a couple of gums that could be used or adhesive that could be used, but there are some specific ones that you need to mix with some quantity of water. So because I'm wondering, most person might be wondering adhesive and water does not uh, cohabitate but this one really does all right so that's applying it and then before placing the wallpaper so let's just enjoy it and see the final effect of this <laughs> This is the final result of the wallpaper. The entire wall has been covered with wallpaper, and that's the entire section of that wall has been covered with wallpaper. And you can see how cute it looks. All right, so this uh, took about three bundles of wallpapers, and each bundle, according to the Nigerian line, is about 3,500 naira, which is about, I think, in dollars, that's about, it should be about eight dollars. So y'all can. You know patronize this and see how it goes guys if you have an ugly wall that you like to cover or 
get rid of some you know ugly and you don't want to use pen this could go thank you for watching my video